SDM 3D printing is a great way to produce tough end-use parts in engineering-grade thermoplastics quickly and affordably. Using our suite of Stratasys Industrial 3D printing machines, which print in real engineering plastics, we can produce parts which are tough, durable and suitable for use in real-life applications. The process works by extruding hot ABS plus thermoplastic and laying down layer after layer until the model is built. First, the STL model is imported into the build software, which arranges the models on a build tray and slices them ready for printing. The models are built on a plastic build tray, which sticks them down firmly and prevents them from peeling up during the build process. The printing process is carried out in a heated build chamber. This controlled environment ensures maximum accuracy and repeatability of parts by preventing unwanted warping and shrinkage during the print and creating a controlled cooling environment for the model when it's finished. Once the job is sent to the machine, it begins printing, laying down layer after layer of model material, building parts from the bottom up. Overhangs, undercuts and holes are all supported by a dissolvable support material, allowing us to produce the most complex geometry which wouldn't otherwise be possible. After each layer has been printed, the build tray moves down by quarter of a millimetre and the next layer is laid down on top, simultaneously printing model and support material. The reliability of this controlled system means that build jobs can be left for many hours without any human intervention and the system can run completely lights out. When the print job is finished, the chamber gradually cools to prevent any shrinkage or warping and the build tray can be removed. Once the build tray has been removed, the parts, which are still fused with their support material, are gently broken away from the build base and are ready for post-processing. Depending on the geometry, it is sometimes not necessary to post-process the models and the support material can be simply broken away by hand. In other cases where the models are very complex, delicate or have areas which cannot be accessed to remove support material by hand, it is simply dissolved in a hot caustic solution. Dissolving the support material uses a caustic bath at 80 degrees Celsius for around four hours. The heat of the bath softens the support material and the effect of the caustic solution and some agitation wash away the support material leaving behind the finished model. After about four hours, all of the support material has been dissolved and the parts are ready. The hot chemicals are harmful, so care is taken when handling. They are rinsed thoroughly under clean water to remove any residue and left to dry. The finished ABS models are tough and durable enough to be used in functional applications and will withstand high temperatures, abrasion and contact with chemicals. The controlled build process ensures parts are accurate enough to test fit and function and the low cost of materials makes this a great solution for both early stage design visualisation, fit and function testing and even batches of end use parts. If you would like to know more about our FDM 3D printing capabilities and discuss suitability for your application, drop us an email to hello at ignatech.com or call us on 0117 329 3420.